guys, what's up? Y'all know who it is. It's your boy, Mr. Unapologetic, a.k.a. Mr. Uncut. Y'all, we're live. Y'all know the motto of Uncut Line Productions is where we focus on mind, body, soul, spirit, faith, social issues, politics, you name it. As I always say, we keep it 100 on 1000. We will not be paused, edited, or muted. Whatever you see, hear, hey, the cards lay how they lay. And it just don't get no realer than that. So y'all, I appreciate all the positive feedback that I've been getting and keeping uh, the topic of mental health uh, uh, on the table because this is something that we need to constantly to be talking about. Uh, this is something that we all need to uh, address uh, and get ourselves informed, educated. We've got to break this stigma. We've got to, we've got some work to do. And so, as I always tell y'all, y'all never know who's going to be in the studio, who's going to be in here. I told y'all, there's always something going on behind the scenes. Without further ado, I'm going to let this bright, shining armor introduce who she is. And we're going to dive into this topic of mental health. We've got some education to do, y'all. We really do. Educate. You know why there's a stigma with mental health? You know why we judge individuals? You know why? See, when a person judge, judges an individual, they condemn individuals because there's no education. Mental health is a human thing. And we've got some talking, we've got some education to do. So without further ado, I'm going to let this bright, shining star introduce who she is. Mm -hmm. Hello, everyone. I am Christine. I'm the executive director and the founder of Blessings Alopecia Mental Health Foundation. It's to give awareness on alopecia and mental health, what to do, what not to do, and how to go about it. Um, hopefully, I can have my own rehab center that is the new version so that it's less chances of you relapsing, um, going homeless, on drugs, or whatever it is that the dark side take you to. Right. <laughs> and so, um, as y'all just heard me go off a few minutes ago and talked about the education and understanding uh, why, uh, the reason why people, they... They judge because they're not educated. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? It's rough. <laughs> um, as a walking testimony, like it's like a as you say, you just gotta educate people. It's it's nothing else that can be said around it, but to educate because a lot of people are used to the visual disability versus disability that's some for someone that's like me. Um, and it's and it's hard because a lot of people um, are not used to it. So it's like, well, the only way that we can help you is if you go to rehab, go see a therapist, go see a psychiatrist, go take medication. I'm like, why do I have to go through all these trials and tribulations just to be able to get help? So it's very damaging um, for someone that's like me, who's more, I'll say 80 to 90 percent of them, more of the disability. Um, but, you know, I'm trying to give the tools and the resources to let people know that um, it's a way to block them out and it's a way to keep going. Yeah. So, um, I, you, you know, why do you think it's, it's, it's so hard to open up about mental health? As for, like, somebody in my position, why would it be hard yeah. for me to open up about mental health? Um, the stigma, the statistics, um, the verbiage, um, the lack of support, the lack of not understanding for yourself, but just listen so you can understand me. Um, so I feel like that's where some of the 
roots are that people don't speak up. Um, Cause I know for like me, I can just tell somebody like, Hey, you know, can you come over here and sit and have lunch with me? I don't understand what does that do for your mental health? And it's not for you to understand. <laughs> it's just right now I'm just trying to manipulate the dark side so that I don't be in the bed all day or so that I don't eat or, you know, everybody's different. So mm-hmm. everybody, the way they react to it might be different. But for me, um, that's, you know, so. Yeah. And, and I, 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 I really, we've got to, when we talk about mental health, we've got to see mental health as a human thing. And the reason why I keep emphasizing seeing it as a human thing is because if we don't see mental health as a human thing, we'll never break that wall mm-hmm. down. And that I want to say that when we talk about mental health, right, a lot of people that experience mental distress, they don't ask. This is not something that they ask for. This is not something that they want to go through. This is not something that, you know, that, that, uh, see, these walls, we have a lot of walls up. And some people are are not opening up and talking about, you know, uh, maybe going through depression and whatnot because of the fact that a lot of people say, oh, it's all in your mind. You know, that is not. A, a a a real healthy constructive way of going about tells oh it's all in your mind. But we've got to understand the causes, the the causes, the effects. You know what I'm saying? The domino, the, 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 the domino effect. There's a lot of things that contribute to you know a person's mental distress. The the, the their, their their geographics where they live at, the nutrition. You know, let's talk, y'all, the, the healthy nutrition, the lack of uh, having access to eat fresh produce, to be able to, to eat vegetables, fruits, to be able to, you know, we have a lot of uh, deserts, food deserts here in the DMV region. There are a lot of places where people cannot access healthy fruits. They cannot access healthy produce. And so we've got to we've got to we've got to think about that because nutrition does play a part to a person's mental where me, mental wellness. You know, it it contributes to that healthy eating, right? You know, they say you are what you eat, right? And so if a person is only being presented with certain things that may not have a good uh, nutritional value to them. It can play a huge effect on an individual, an in individual's uh, uh, mental uh, capacity. You know, y'all ever paid attention to? We we have the gun violence that's that's going on. We have a lot of we have a lot of uh, uh, carryouts that's been f- that's filled with high sodium. Let's talk, y'all. Grease. Let's talk sugar let's talk y'all we, we and then not only that we got the carryouts and then next to the carryout we've got these liquor stores you get what i'm saying so you gotta think about all these different things that portray and cause these dynamics you know what, what, what do you think about it? I agree with you. But God, you know me, the government does some things too to, to put us, you know, and make us move a certain way. So I wish people will wake up and understand that one as well. Um, that it's time to be yourself, for yourself. Um, that's even like with clothes. It's, it's no need to spend $1,000 on clothes when you can make your own for $25, $50, less than $100. So, um, I just feel like everybody needs to, like, uh, to me, my personal opinion, everybody should have took a step back with the pandemic versus just trying to figure out how to navigate through the pandemic. Because if you take a step back, not only would you be able to map out how to navigate through mm-hmm. things, then you'll be able to see and be like, oh, well, let me cut back on this. Or let me not focus on that. Or let me not think about or try to go about it this way because your mind frame is totally different. So... Um, that's why I tell people, even like, if you think about it, when you're 
when you're a teenager and you 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 grow up to being the 21, then you grow up to being the 40, and then the 50. But if you really think about it, once you get 50 and 60 years old, you really sit back and be like, well, I should have just did it this way. But if you would have had that time and that um, support person or motivation or whatever it is to help you sit back and be like, okay, this is how to navigate it. This is how to go about it. Things would be a whole lot calmer and smoother. But everything is on this fast pace. Go, go, go. You don't know. And then it's... It, it creates so many other things. Like you said, it's a domino effect that people don't really get and realize until um, there is later on in life or until they have experienced a situation mm -hmm. that makes them sit and really think about what's the next move. So, yeah, and and I and I and 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 I think the 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 way that society has built things up, yeah, is is it can be very easily to fall right into the, 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 the those cracks right uh, you know when you think about healthy eating right you think about healthy nutrition right um there there's something i'm often reminded of the show called the magic school but you learn a lot about that yes miss yes. miss chisels <laughs> you know what i'm saying um, I ain't gonna lie, I still be wanting to watch Magic School Bus there. <laughs> just because of her, because it just seems so cool to just be on the bus and just buses just transform. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> like, no, 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 no. It's, 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 you learned a lot from that show. Yeah. In, all, in all honesty, though, you learned a lot. You learned about, you know, you learned about the immune system, you learned about what, you know, germs. You learned about uh, uh, how your immune system is designed to ward off germs. Your your body needs germs. You, we mm -hmm. learned about um I can't even remember uh the was it Ralph? I think that that was the boy's name because you know it was always inside of his body. Going inside his body, I remember the episode where they where where the where the where his where his immune system thought the the bus was a germ. But you the in the in the and the immune system was like trying to like, yeah. you know was 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 trying to fight it off. But these are things that we, 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 you know, values. You know what I'm saying? We learn about the, the, the food gram, the, mm -hmm. the, the chart, the, the carbohydrates, the amount of fruits and, and vegetables and whatnot that you need in your diet, you know, to, to help. Yeah. Uh, uh, to help you to be able to sustain. You know, uh, one of the things... I think is very important as we talk about mental health, right? That healthy nutritional piece is really key. I'm not going to stop emphasizing that because that is a, that is another huge component yeah. that affects the person's mental ability. You know what I'm saying? If you eat junk, mm -hmm. high, high fatty foods, high sodium foods, high, you know, you... You know, it catches up to it, it, it catches it. up to you, <laughs> you, you know, and, and, and then and then you got to be able to, you know, what I'm saying you got to be able to know. I'm not saying, you know, we don't have, you know, don't go out here and treat yourself, you know, but we got to change the amount of what we put into our bodies, because what happens is. We don't realize what we put into our bodies can actually weaken us. Mm -hmm. you, you, you know, we, it, it can weaken us through this junk. You know, we, we got to understand that water. We got to understand that our body needs hydration, proper hydration. Right. It needs vitamins. It needs minerals. It needs healthy eating. It needs, how they say, you need to eat your vegetables. You need to eat them, them green vegetables. You know, collard greens, them green beans, the broccoli, the the carrots, the, you know, uh, the cabbage, you know, the, the, the lettuce, you know, all these things that have nutritional values in them because it's going to help you to matriculate successfully. It, yeah. it will help your mind, your body, your soul, your spirit, you know, it'll be a, a breath of fresh air, watermelon, cantaloupe. You know, mm -hmm. these are, these are things that have vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin C, you know, oranges, uh, bananas that have potassium and calcium and iron and all those great great things we've got to keep uh, even in the midst of this being uh, 
COVID-19. You know what I'm saying? You know, they talked about how that most people, that vitamin D uh, factor yeah. playing a part with the with, with the deficiency of, of an individual. That's why it's important for us to get out, you know, when the sun is out, get out there into that yeah. sun. Let that vitamin D hit that body, that you get that melanation, stir that melanation up in your body. You know, we we've got to have these type of conversations to be on the table. Yeah. You know, we're this is a missing factor. And I've been saying it from day one since people have been talking about the COVID-19. We ain't even talking about nothing about nutritional value. We ain't talking about and I'm not saying that we gotta go out here, you know, and 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 do something out of the norm and, you know, break our pockets and stuff like that. By all means, I'm not saying that. But I'm saying is that we can do something in moderation. You know, um, I was just even talking with uh, someone that specializes in nutrition. And, you know, as big as the, the those pyramid charts are, you know, kind of be sort of somewhat, little, little, be kind of hard for a lot of us to be able to fulfill that pie chart. Right. You know, because it's so it's a certain amount of many carbohydrates that you need is a certain amount of, you know, but you can you can at least strive to attempt to be able to reach that mark. Um stores, you know, get that uh get get that green, that jolly the green giant spring mix that they got with the with the romaine and, and, and spinach. It's now like three dollars in a in, in in a bag that you can incorporate into that. You know, some of us we love that mumbo sauce. You know, we we be getting them fried wings. You know what I'm saying? Let's throw some let's throw a salad with them with those wings. You know what I'm saying? You wanna have some wings? Maybe cut down on the hot sauce and you know, maybe maybe make up your own homemade you know uh, 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 dressing or dip. To, to go with it because at least you know what's being put into it. You know right. what I'm saying? At least you know, hey, I horseradish. You know what I'm saying? I just learned that you can buy horseradish in the store. I didn't know that. I, I thought, you know, I thought horseradish was just the the, the sauce you see seeing there, but it actually had actual horseradish. It, it's 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 look like a herb, but you can actually grow that. Mm-hmm. And then you can you can grind it up and decide what you want to put inside of it. You know, make your own little make your own little dip, right? Um, uh, right along with it. But getting back to, um, so I know I've gone off with the nutritional value, but this is has to be in the. I well, I would definitely say when it comes to mental health, it you definitely have to um, watch your intake, um, watch what you eat. Uh, try to get to the more of the healthier foods, the green foods. Um, try to get the vitamin C, D um, as much as possible. Like you said, try to get out in the sun. Try to, if you don't give a full body workout, at least do like a two to five minutes. You got to do like three jumping jacks, three crunches, three sit ups, you know, three uh, minute running in place, something to get you going. Um, cutting back on. Uh, the different chemicals you take in. So I'm trying to get people to understand, like, when it comes to lotions, deodorants, shampoos, um, pretty much anything that we need to take, to use on a daily basis, we have to watch what we're using. Um, and, I, and I've noticed if I cut back on certain things and do certain things, this is like deodorant. I wouldn't have to use deodorant every day. But it's like if if you're not educated on how to use it and how to deal with it and how to go about it and how if I eat this type of food or this type of intake that, yes, when I sweat, I'm going to need deodorant. But if, if I eat like this and do this type of intake, I don't need it or I don't need it every day. Mm-hmm. And then you got to realize the ingredients that's inside of deodorants that can also affect mm-hmm. the mental mindset. So um, I try to educate people just because, you know, they... Say you need shampoo and conditioner, you don't necessarily need shampoo and conditioner. Um, you can use alternative things like maybe using the soap that you use um, or just being able to use 
I wouldn't say necessarily the shampoo conditions, but different chemicals that you're already taking it or chemicals that is not going to be harmful towards your yeah, system. I've, I've been hearing about a lot about uh, uh, aloe vera. Yeah. Um, I was it's even um, introduced to, uh, they were saying Bragg's vinegar is a good uh, natural remedy that gets rid of zits and and, and, it, and it pulls a lot of toxins out of your pores and stuff. So I was I was introduced um, to that. They were saying like you know about be careful about using the the things with the rubbing alcohol. You know as men they you know they, they shave and, and whatnot. But they were saying that you know Bragg's vinegar because it's organic and it's you know from the earth that that is a good uh, yeah a, a good remedy. Yeah, this is like if you think about catching a cold and stuff like that. If you look at a lot of uh, foreigners or like older people, mm -hmm. they don't do medications and cough syrups and stuff. They do a lot of home remedies like ginger um, or having like different spices within their tea or their hot water. And it's like, okay, they catch a cold. All they got to do is drink this tea and by the end of the day, it's gone. So I just try to, that's what I tell people, like, you really got to take the time and read or take the time and educate yourself or just try to see what are the different alternatives when it comes to your day-to-day, -day, you know, your day-to-day. -day. Um, yeah, I just got a head gap introduced not too long ago to turmeric. Yeah, that's a good one as well. Uh, turmeric, they, um, from my understanding, turmeric helps with swelling. It's an anti-inflammatory uh, agent. It's a... Uh, Antioxidant. They said it uh, purifies your kidneys. It flushes your kidneys. Mm -hmm. um, and because um, I uh, was someone that suffered with migraine headaches a lot, so I was used to just taking a little Tylenol, you, you know. Right. But then I got introduced to turmeric, so now I use it. You know, they have the turmeric tea, and then they have the turmeric powder. Gotcha. Um, and the turmeric powder, it actually um, you get two teaspoons of it. Mm -hmm. And I put it in my tea. I, I put it in my tea. I, I like ginger tea. You know, and ginger is a is, is a good one too. Is a is a uh, good uh, flush right. mechanism that they said that actually it helps. It's a uh, it helps with keeping your pores mm -hmm. purified of any type of you know infirmities and stuff that that come into. Uh, that's why in my in, in in my front room I got nothing but just pure ginger right it's, it's been just been dried up ginger but it actually is a, uh it works with with uh against flu viruses uh uh it, it, it's a good it's a good one inside turmeric ginger you know these are some things that that you can get giant has ginger ginger root looks you know almost looks like a like clay but you can get it like you can get it fresh Fresh from your giant, fresh from your Safeway, get access to a Safeway or a giant. You can break a little bit of that off, you know, steam it. Mm -hmm. You know, steam it. I love the way it smells. Yeah. Um, and um, if you suffer with allergies, steam yourself, you know, a little pot of ginger, breathe it in. I'm trying to tell you, it opens up your. your it does. Your, 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 it, it, which is crazy that you talk about that. It's just like asthma. Instead of you taking an inhaler, unless it's to that point, what do you do at home? You sit in a hot shower and taking the same thing. So that's just like a prime example of like things you can cut back on taking into your body. Um, not necessarily you have to go to medication. You can just go sit in a hot bath or hot shower, drink something, and have the same results. So y'all, you know, we've got to continue to have these conversations as it relates to healthy nutritional uh, living, healthy eating. You know, this this stuff plays a huge effect on the mental, the the, the mental position of mental health. Um, healthy eating, um, exercising. You know, uh, you know. Maybe since the, this pandemic, you know, may have had some issues with being able to get to the gyms because a lot of the gyms and stuff were closed. But why not just take like 15 minutes, just like I do, 
15 to 20 minutes a day and just get up, you know, when, when, when the sun is out, get up, you know, put your tennis shoes on, you know, walk around the block, you know, breathe, inhale, exhale. Um, I've been introduced to yoga. Uh, yoga helps helps yeah, it uh, does. Uh, alleviate uh, uh, stress. That's because just, your but, mind is thought thinking about nothing. <laughs> like I gotta stand here and stretch. Now I gotta be quiet and take a breather. So it's it, like people don't realize it's kind of like a, a manipulating the dark side of your mind when you're doing yoga. Because a lot of people think like, what does your like? If you really think about it, when you try to do it and you're like, okay, not thinking about nothing, and then. Once you get, if you, if it's like an on and off, if you do it a couple times, mm -hmm. then it's just like a easier, smooth process. And it's like, okay, I have to stay here, just breathe, release everything. You know what I'm saying? Breathe in, breathe out and be fine after I do it. So that's why it goes back to doing different things to be able to retrain the brain. Yeah. And, 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 and good stuff. The yoga, um, like I said, I, I had a chance to go to a couple of yoga sessions and I was quite impressed with uh, how you really tap into a lot. Mm -hmm. Like you tap into a lot you're, with, with your body. You, you feel your blood flow. You, you actually hear how your body operates, you yeah. know, because we just get, we just, you know, because we just get caught up in the hustle bustle of life, but you know, just having that quiet time of that fifteen minute quiet time, just you know, Can relaxing and, 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 and that inhaling and that breathing technique where you're allowing, you know, the negative uh uh restraint that comes against your body right. on a day to day basis, that 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 distress and you release it mm -hmm. and, and just being open to the you know the meditating. That meditation is something I can all I can always tell when it's time for me to meditate. You know, um, so just being introduced to that is something that's really beneficial. So I, I tell a lot of like, I encourage y'all practice that. You know, getting into that habit of you know breathing. Do we do you do you inhale? Do you exhale? You know, it's it's springtime now. You know, the sun come out. And you see the, the the butterflies, you see the birds, you see, you know, nature. I know nature, you know, plays a good part with me. I, I love the the, the way the the greenery, you know, the greenery of the trees, seeing the flowers, seeing the lilies, seeing the dandelion, seeing, you know, that stuff helps uh with your mental health. It helps alleviate, you know, it helps put you into a different you mindset. Know, mindset and you able to become one. Yeah. I, I that's why I recommend people to figure out what is their comfort zone, um, or their or slash or form of medication, um, so that they can do that. So like yoga, if you some people use yoga, some like you said, go walking, um, go walking by the water for me, traveling. Um, but to me, I just recommend you figuring out what makes you comfortable, what makes you happy in your comfort zone so that when you go to that place, you're able to decompress, get everything out of you, release everything out of you, and you're able to sit back and take a breather and say, okay, this is what I need to do. This is how I need to go about it. And this is how I can continue to run this race. Um, so that's just my advice, especially with going um, and dealing with mental health. You just you 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 gotta watch your intake, which is taking into your body, getting the exercise, finding your environment, finding your support system, um, and that will kind of like get you on the right tracks when it comes to your mental health. So you'll know, you know, what to do, what not to do. Um, like for me, I know. Now putting a lot of energy into what I'm taking into my body. So I've noticed when I take in a lot of chocolate and caffeine, it will put me at a 10 and it will stay at a 10. <laughs> right. 
Regardless, if I have my medication around, it's, 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 it, 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 if my medication, it might be like a 9.5, maybe a 9, but it's still high up there. So it's like, okay, now I got to cut back on what I eat. Or if I do decide to eat chocolate, I make people aware and say, hey, I done had some chocolate. So my attitude or my whatever might be a little on edge right now. Mm -hmm. And... And it's also helpful because when I say that to people, and they, some some people that who's not used to be like, how do you sit up here and say something like that but still do it? Because I can't control it. If we can control it, then mental health wouldn't be experienced. That means as soon as you think something, you should be able to poof, it's there. You know, mm -hmm. um, a lot of times, like I say, it goes back into retraining the brain. So if you have that support system and doing everything like you're supposed to do then you'll be back to that 80, 90% normal and knowing how to do with your day to day. Yeah. And, and check out, you know, one thing I just got plugged into, um, there, there's some teas, some really good teas, uh, that really, uh, help, uh, put herbal teas where they got lavender tea out there. They got the chamomile tea out there. Uh, now I'm I'm uh, drinking a tea. Um, it has uh, coriander, clove, cloves, ginger, uh, spice, and cinnamon tea all in one, and it's a chai tea. Mm -hmm. And it it really it really does help uh, helps you know helps refreshing the body. It replenishes. Mm -hmm. It really just does something to you know. It, it really helps. Uh, uh, bring refreshment to the body. So there's a lot of herbal teas that's out there um, that are really beneficial. Uh, ginger tea, of course. Um, they got this, like I said, this chai tea that I just tried. It's a celestial. Um, so y'all can go to like celestialteas.com and they have them all on there. A lot of these teas don't have caffeine in there. There's like lavender tea, and all you really need to do is um, have a kennel. Or if you don't have a kennel, but you can like steep, mm -hmm. you know, steep these teas, and it really helps revive the body. Mm -hmm. Y'all really need to check into check into that too, because like I said, um, I've been I've been this one tea. I'm like, man, I gotta make sure I got a certain certain budget for this, but it really helps. Right. Uh, it really helps revitalize and restore the body. Um, these are, this is another, we gotta, like I said, we gotta have these type of conversations to be in the forefront when we talk about mental health because it really does help alleviate, you know, the stress and it helps promote the body. I always say that mental health is wealth. I'm gonna say it again, mental health is wealth. Uh, and so that we've got to practice and cultivate healthy habits that's going to enhance the mental health for us to be able to matriculate, move, and do what it is that we do properly and accordingly. Right. You know, and, and, and just realizing that mental health is a human thing. Uh, it's the same way as if we were to, uh, we had issues with, uh, like me, I got glasses, right? So I make sure that I go see the the ophthalmologist, the the, the optic, you know. Make sure I have glasses to be able to see accordingly. Uh, if someone were to have uh, issues with uh, their high blood pressure, you know, we, the same way that we attend to these other different health uh, issues, mm -hmm. we got to attend to our mental health the same way, right? Uh, even from a spiritual standpoint, you know, it says be transformed by the renewing of the mind. And in order to do that, you've got to be able to have healthy practices, healthy, uh, healthy practices that will help the mind to be uh, matriculated in a wholesome way. Mm -hmm. You know, we've got to make sure that yeah, we have, we have to calm down with this this uh, judging thing and you, you know this this 
looking down on each other and judging individuals. Yeah, it's time out for all that, y'all. You know, we're all going through something. The Apostle Paul had a thorn in his flesh. I'm taking to y'all spiritually for a second. He, the Apostle Paul was someone that he wrote a good portion of the Bible. The Bible doesn't say what his thorn was, but it does say that he had something that he was crying out to God to, to help deal with. And God had told him, he said, my grace is sufficient enough. And so, you know, God would never give us anything that we can't bear with. And so, and just because uh, we might be spiritual in, in, in individuals does not mean or negate the fact that you know, God is not with us. So sometimes we just have to go through the process in the physical. Right. So unless we have to go through certain things in the physical because that that is what builds our faith. Sometimes you don't know what you what you're capable of overcoming until your back is against the wall. Faith over fear. <laughs> yeah. You know. And so y'all you continue to follow uh and stay plugged in with Uncut Live Productions, you know. Um, we, we, we're, we're going to, mental health is never going nowhere. So, um, it, you know, for those individuals, if you need supportive services, if you need uh, a, a way of getting plugged into, you might, might say, what are some healthy habits or some things that I can practice? Inbox Uncut Live Productions. Uh, how can individuals get in touch with you? Um, the BAM Foundation is 601-675-BAMH, which is 2264, or BAMHfoundation.com or BAMHfoundation at gmail.com. And uh, y'all can stay plugged in with your boy, Mr. Unapologetic himself, on Instagram at Change Agent Now Forever, as well as here uncut live productions all you got to do is just send an inbox or you can reach out to me uh on facebook at kenneth clark uh so uh in closing out y'all listen mental health is wealth mental health is wealth if you find yourself in a place of needing a little little bit of help don't be afraid to reach out. Don't be afraid to, to say, hey, I need to need to figure out a way on how I can get through this. Um, you're not in this by yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, you're not in this alone. You're not a lone ranger on this. And, and I will say, I will definitely be that voice when it comes to mental health. So always pick up the phone and talk to me so that I can be their voice and um, educate those on what you're experiencing so that we can come bring a stop to it and also give you the help and the support that you need. And one more time, contact? 601-675-BAMH. Uh, 601-675-2264. BAMH um, Foundation at gmail.com. BAMH Foundation um dot com. Right, did I say dot com my first? I think one of well, either way you look at it, everything is B A M H Foundation um on Instagram, Gmail, and the website. Y'all heard it here first. Your boy, Mr. Unapologetic, aka Mr. Uncut. Y'all stay locked. Continue to stay plugged in. We got more things happening here at Uncut Live Productions. Y'all know our eyes are always on the community. Woodbury Apartments, we got you. We ain't going nowhere. We're going to make sure that you get the proper help and assistance that you need. We got you. Y'all continue to stay plugged in. You have now just been plugged in with your boy, Mr. Uncut. Peace. See you guys. This is part one.